week three in the 5,000 plus nautical mile race to Rio. And the going's getting tough for the 12 amateur crews making their way to Brazil. It hasn't been plain sailing as they hit the halfway mark, as the novice sailors tackle everything from fast trade winds to light airs and rising temperatures, occasionally interrupted by violent tropical squalls. But front runner Elmax Exchange's successful start continues. They hit the lead early on in the race and now look unstoppable under French skipper Olivier Cardin. The team is currently in the doldrums corridor approaching the equator, having picked up three extra points for reaching the Atlantic scoring gate first. Uh, the hard work, the sleepless nights and the constant motivating trimming has paid off, so we're pleased. In the last edition of the Clipper race, some of the fleet got trapped in the doldrums for over a week. The gap between the northern and southern weather systems leaves voids with negligible winds, but the tropical conditions can also send small extreme squalls across the otherwise benign conditions, with rain, high winds and thunder passing in a matter of minutes. But having successfully navigated towards this tricky stage, Cardan is keen to maintain momentum. Three point, three point, three point. Uh, we just uh, crossed the, uh, the scoring gate and uh, we are the first one to cross the scoring gate. So we have three points here in our pocket. So good, good, good start. Uh, all the guys work very hard to, uh, since a week, you know, to, uh, to keep the lead and uh, to increase our, our lead and being first at, the, at this scoring gate. So it's good. We are all happy now. Uh. The fresh trade winds kicked in south of the Canary Islands and saw some teams achieving speeds in excess of 20 knots. Great Britain was next through the Atlantic scoring gate, closely followed by Northern Irish entry Derry London Derry Dora, picking up an extra two and one points respectively. They continue to duel it out for second, but are being chased down by Qingdao, with Garmin not far behind. To overcome the frustration of being becalmed for days, race rules have introduced a doldrums corridor between four virtual markers, where teams can engage motors but not for more than six degrees of latitude or for 60 hours, whichever expires sooner. But nevertheless, it's a testing part of the route. Crews need high levels of concentration and good weather interpretation is paramount. And with more than 2,000 nautical miles to go to Rio for the leaders, there's still 10 days of tough round-the-clock racing ahead. There's just the dreaded doldrums to tackle first before South America appears on the horizon.